I meet a lot of actors who are concerned about investing in their acting careers because they're not making money as actors yet. And I totally get it. I was in a space not too long ago when I was in a lot of debt and there were just so many things that I wanted for my career, whether it was a really expensive headshot session with this photographer that I loved or having a reel produced for me or working with a coach that might have been a little expensive. And it just feels really scary when you don't know that you're going to see a return on that investment because of the uncertainty of how we make money in our industry. So I totally get that. I also want to tell you though, and just share that the times that I've invested in myself were almost magical in the progress that I saw because, because I made the investment, I also made the commitment and we've seen that time and time again with our clients in the table and our other programs. So the message here is that you are probably going to have to invest in your career before you feel like you have the money to do so, right? Any business that we start, there is an upfront investment and that's actually okay. But I want to give you some questions to ask when you're considering making an investment. One is, can you see the vision? Is there sort of a vision of the future that you can see this investment getting you closer to? The next question is, are you having a little niggle? Is something in your intuition telling you that something greater is available to you and that this investment can help you with that? Another question is, are you willing to do things a little bit differently? And do you feel like support would help you do that? Right? When I think about the times, especially the times that I've made high ticket investments in coaching and things like that, there were just things I didn't know. And I was willing to try things that were different, but how could I, if there was just that knowledge gap and also a gap in the feeling of support. And the last question I want you to consider is, how much longer are you willing to feel stuck? How much longer are you willing to live your life in a place where you just don't feel like you're moving forward? And we can weigh all of these questions against what it will take to make the investment. And at that point, the decision is yours. So I hope that helps.